Do you feel the world is broken? Do you feel the shadows deepen? But do you know that all the dark won't stop the light from getting through? Do you wish that you could see it all made new? Is all creation groaning? Is a new creation coming? Is the glory of the Lord to be the light within our midst? And is it good that we remind ourselves of this? Does the Father truly love us? Does the Spirit move among us? And does Jesus stand beside us? Oh, forever those He loves. Does our God intend to dwell again? people sing truth and to sing it like they believe it so 
In that spirit, I would love to hear us all one more time together sing that chorus before we move on to anything else. Is anyone worthy? Is anyone whole? Is anyone able to break the seal and open the scroll? The Lion of Judah who conquered the grave is dead and the Lamb of God is raised from the slave. Is he worthy? Is he worthy?
Redeemer, how y'all doing tonight? Man, y'all ready to praise the Lord? Amen. Thank y'all for being with us. We're going to uh, have a, a, a quick time to greet one another in the Lord, uh, maybe two minutes. Uh, but I want to uh, have our mind thinking about one idea. Uh, in Luke chapter 2, uh, the shepherds and the angels, when they uh, find out that Jesus is born, the Bible actually says that and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. I don't know if you ever thought about it, but we get a picture of an angelic choir where the angels are singing and praising the Lord Jesus Christ. And as one of my seminary professors used to tell us, to which angel did Jesus ever save? That when those demons fell with Satan, they were co-signed to eternal destruction. But it is of us, of humans, that even in our sin and our rebellion. God chose to reach out and to redeem us. And think about that picture. If the angels in heaven are rejoicing over the plan of redemption, how much more should we, those on the receiving end of his redemption? And so it's fitting for us to praise the Lord. It's fitting for us to, if you want to sit in your seat and weep, it's fitting if you want to sit in your seat and take it in. If you want to stand to your feet and praise, that it's fitting to offer not just our lips, but our entire lives back unto the Lord. And so we want to help you do that tonight. I'm going to pray for us, and uh, we'll begin. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we do bow, and we, like the song we just sang, it resonates with us that your servant John saw the scroll and he saw the seven seals on the scroll. Seven means complete. That in his words, he's telling us that the plan of redemption was completely sealed off. And there was no man, no ordinary woman, no ordinary child who could open that. And John felt despair. And yet he saw something amazing and something beautiful. He saw the lion from the tribe of Judah. He saw the son of God. He saw the lamb slain. He was the only one who could open that scroll. And all heaven rejoiced. All the earth rejoiced. And so, Father, I pray that as we worship you in spirit and in truth this evening, that you would be pleased to receive our worship through the person and work of Jesus. Would you bless our service and our singing in Christ's name? Amen. All right. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria. And all went to be registered each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. And in the same region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, 
let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men came from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose, and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And assembling all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it is written by the prophet. And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of, Judea, of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod summoned the wise men secretly and ascertained from them what time the star had appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently, diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word that I too may come and worship him. After listening to the king, they went on their way. And behold, the star that they had seen when it rose went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Then opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. morn when the great mediator down from the regions of glory descends shepherds go worship the babe in the manger lo for his guard the bright angels attend brightest and best of the sons of the morning born on our darkness and lend us thine aid Star the horizon adorning guide where our infant redeemer was laid hold on his cradle the dew drops are shining low on his bed with the peace of the storm angels adore him in slumbers recline wise men and shepherds before him do fall brightest and best of the sons of the morning dawn on our darkness and lend us thy name star in the east the sunrise and the dawn guide where our infant redeemer was Shall we yield him in costly devotion, odors of Edom and offerings divine, gems from the mountains and pearls of the ocean, myrrh from the forest or gold from the mine, vainly we offer each gentle oblation, vainly with gifts would his favor secure. Richer by far is the heart's adoration, dearer 
The stars are brightly shining. It is the night of the dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and narrow pine till he. And the soul felt his word. A field of hope, the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn.
word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. Christ our Savior was born upon this day to save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. From God our Heavenly Father, a blessed angel came and unto certain shepherds tidings of the same how that in Bethlehem was born the Son of God by name oh tidings of comfort and joy comfort and joy oh tidings of comfort and joy oh 
Psalm 145, 3. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. Psalm 86, 6. There is no one like you among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like yours. Searched all over, couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low, still I couldn't find nobody. Nobody greater, nobody greater, no. Nobody greater than you, Lord. No 
nobody can heal like you can. Oh, most holy one, you are the great I am, awesome in all your ways and mighty is your hand. You are he who carried out redemption plan. You are he who carried out redemption plan. I couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low. Still, I couldn't find nobody. Nobody greater. Nobody greater, no. Nobody greater than you. Searched all over. Couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low, still I couldn't find nobody, nobody greater, nobody greater, no, nobody greater than you, Lord. I don't care where you go, you won't find nobody. is what I did. I looked all over, couldn't find nobody. I looked all over, couldn't find nobody like you. Hey, hey, hey. Ran all over, couldn't find nobody. I ran, I couldn't find nobody like you. Feel all right now. Began to shout all over, couldn't find nobody. Shout, shout, couldn't find nobody like you. No, 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 nobody, 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 nobody greater than you. Psalm 121, I lift up my eyes to the hills, from where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, he who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep our going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. continue in praising the Lord. Amen? Amen. Okay.
particularly picked out songs that will be familiar to the audience. And so during this time, we just want you, want you all to sing with us, celebrate of who Christ is, amen. somebody who does. I know a comforter who is there at the time of need. Amen. At this time, I ask the choir to go ahead and stand. And so, we're going to do another song that's on the list here. Um, we're going to kind of go backwards and back to Jesus brought me out. Are you all okay? With, is that all right? All right. I'm sorry, but it's just it's just kind of how to have cards with depth tonight, but we're going to go anyhow. Um, it's a song back at the old church. I used to always hear, I'll go if I have to go. Anybody know what I'm talking about? <laughs> By myself. That's the, that's the title of the song. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, Mary, did you know people? Y'all know who. Excuse us for being extra.
did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you have given will soon forgive you.
Okay, I want to hear you. We're going to give you all a part, okay? And then I'm going to give the altos their part. And then the tennis, okay? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? All right. now would be a good time for somebody to say, are we in the midst of a good time? <laughs> Praise the Lord. I'm not one to say a whole lot. Uh, as you can see, I married the one who, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Ken. <laughs> as we were preparing for today, something came to mind. You know, I've done a whole lot of concerts. I've done a whole lot of cantatas. I've done a whole lot of all, all of this. I've been doing this all my life since, since before. Oh my goodness, long, long time. Uh, when I first started out, uh, um, I w it, it kind of made me nervous a whole lot. But now, later on years, I can, I, I'm still kind of nervous. But, but one of the things that really resonates, and it always has since I've been in my adult life as a musician and as a director and different things, um, it's not about the performance or the performer. In fact, it's the space between the notes. It's the spirit behind the music. It's the God that you serve, the reason why we give and lend these gifts and these talents. These talents, these gifts, these voices, these hands, they were given to the glory, for the glory of God, to give back to him. Amen. So it's not just in church service. You can give God glory wherever you go. You know, whether you're at work, particularly, um, no, what, no matter what you do. I was about to go on a rabbit trail. We thank you. Uh, it's such a blessing to be able to, to bring these gifts and to, and to sing for you and to play this music for you. But rest assured, rest assured, this is all for the honor and glory of God. Amen. Amen. This is why we're here. This is why we sing. This is why we do this uh, week in and week out, day in and day out. We are so grateful to see you singing along and, uh, and just to, to be worshiping along with us. Amen. Amen. Praise God for you. First John 1, this is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. He's 
of the days of Elijah, declaring the word of the Lord. Yes. And these are the days of your servant Moses, his righteousness being restored. And these are the days of great trials, of famine and darkness and sores. Still we are the voice in the desert. Crying, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Behold, we are riding on a cloud, shining like the sun. As the trumpet calls, we'll show forth year or two of years. Out of Zion, here shall be the place. Behold, he comes, riding on the cloud, shining like the sun. As the trumpet calls. Trouble becoming as play. And these are the days of your servant David rebuilding the temple of the rain. And these are the days of the harvest. The fields are all white in the world. And we are believers in your vineyard. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. Nobody like him. Nobody like Jehovah. Nobody like him. Nobody like him. Nobody like him. Nobody like him. Nobody like him.
There's a reason we're singing about the second advent. We don't believe that Jesus just came the first time and that's it. We believe that he's coming again. And we, by faith, we long for that day when the trumpet sounds and we see the Lord of glory descending and making his dwelling place with us. That's going to be a good day, y'all. Y'all know that, right? And it's a privilege to sing these songs in front of our children. It's a privilege to have our children sing with us because we might not be here all the time. And we're laying the framework to let them know that mama and daddy might not always be here, but there's a God who is forever faithful. And we're teaching them these hymns right now. And the Lord's word will not return back to him void. And so I want to thank the children. Can we give them a round of applause for singing tonight? Thank you, all kids. Thank you. Thank you, all of you. And our teenagers, uh, we're at the Vickery. And, uh, where, where, where are they at? I know I saw them. And Carter, thank you. And did y'all catch the diversity of the music? I mean, we're doing some Scottish Christmas carols, some yeah. black gospel. I mean, come on, man. That, that is amazing for the Lord to gift us with that type of gospel diversity. Isn't that a promise that he says people from every nation, tribe, culture, and language, that we're going to be in heaven learning other tunes and learning new music and learning new styles, and we're going to bring all of these gifts to bear that we might worship Jesus forever. And so we get to see that. Thank you for the uh, acapella group. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, we don't always need uh, instruments to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Thank you all for using your voices and the countless of hours that went into that. Thank you, musicians. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. All, all of y'all, thank y'all so much. Thank you. And choir. Man, I know that this is a... Uh, thank you. Thank you. And our awesome narrators, Kelly's baritone voice. Thank you, Miss Chandra's beautiful voice. And thank you all for coming out. Amen. It's a sacrifice to come out on a Sunday night. I know we have school in the morning, but it means a ton that you would carve out this hour, hour and a half to come and worship with us. And lastly, I want to thank our Lord and Savior that this night is not just about us. It's about the one who is on the throne right now, who receives our worship by the Spirit. It's about him. And if you're like me, I want to see him. Life can get hard and it can get disorienting. And I need you guys to sing these songs to your pastor. We need one another to sing them to one another to encourage us on our way. And so I want to take a moment to give God honor and glory. Can you do that with me? pray for us, and uh, we'll go in peace, all right? Dear Father, we do thank you, and we do praise you, that the Advent reminds us that you desire to be with your people, and that you are relentless in pursuing us. We're not accepted because we're righteous that you set your affection upon us, that while we were still sinners, Christ died for the ungodly. As we sing that song, there's no God like Jehovah, we mean that with every fabric of our hearts. Other religions tell us that we must work our way up to God. They tell us that we must do these things to earn the approval of God. And only the Lord of glory would be holy and say, you can't be good enough. As a matter of fact, your own goodness disqualifies you from my kingdom. 
that we need a righteousness that is alien to us. We need a righteousness that is not our own. And in your wisdom, you saved us. You stepped in and you took on flesh in your son to become the curse for us that in him we might become the righteousness of God. And this is ours, not by works of the law, Paul would say, but by faith, by believing and trusting and resting. And Paul would even say that you give us that as a gift, that we might all boast in the Lord. Father, I pray for the saints in this room that we would leave here today with a sense of your good pleasure and your desire for us. And I pray for those who don't know you. Might today be a day where they repent and turn not just from their sins, but from trusting in themselves. And that they would see Jesus freely offered to us in the gospel. Father, go with us. Bless us this season as the world gives us competing messages about worth, about dignity, about the things that will satisfy us if we just buy them. You tell us to come with no money and buy. You tell us to come and drink from your fountain and it's free. Might that be the message that we hear and that we treasure in our hearts. We love you and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us go in peace. God bless you.